Tabitha and I'm a student here at Bambi 7. I've been here for one and a half years learning at the kitchen garden. How does the garden work? The kitchen garden is used in many ways. Uh, mostly, mostly it's used for our kitchen garden sessions which we have six of every week um, on the Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So a, a studio will come into the, we'll normally start in the, in the gazebo space here and um, talk about what we're making for the day and what the plan is as a big group. Uh, and then we divide it into two, we divide into the gardeners and the chefs. Um, the gardeners stay outside and do the harvesting. They have a little treasure hunt to, to go around and find the different coloured flags to help them find the food um, that, that's on their shopping list, on their menu. Uh, they weigh and record their food they, and they deliver it to the, to the chefs in the kitchen. Um, in that time then the chefs are then preparing the food that we're going to eat together as a class at, at the end. After that the gardeners get busy stuck into whatever we have planned for the day which might be one big group activity, um, it might be some individual jobs around the garden working with the chickens, working with the compost, planting some seeds, uh, doing some propagating or some insect or, or pest identification. Um, sometimes there'll be some self-directed time as well so the students can work on what they want to themselves. Um, and then towards the end we all come together and eat uh, as one big group. Sometimes that's outside in the garden if it's nice weather. Uh, more often it's, it's in, the, in the Bambi 7 cafe in red. Um, and that's how, the, that's how the sessions run. How does the kitchen work? This is our kitchen here at Bambi 7 where we teach kids to cook the delicious food that they grow in the garden. Um, we have five kitchens in this space so if you can look around the room you'll see each kitchen has its own oven and its own kitchen sink and um, kids work in small groups to produce delicious food that they can then share with their whole class. So they would be given a, a recipe for the day and um, bring, some students would bring the food in from outside in the garden and the students would be in here preparing the food that's coming from the garden and with the other ingredients that they need. They have about an hour to cook usually, a little bit more. Um, so our recipes are, do have to be contained within the hour, but it's um, a beautiful space to cook in. I find it fun that we get to cook things every fortnight. It gives us an opportunity to learn more and could benefit us in the future. If you are going to work to a restaurant, you need to be a good cook so yeah, you can benefit your future like me. It makes me more precise in measuring things. What are some of the more special things about the kitchen? This is our harvest table and this is where our produce comes to from the garden. And then students come and get what they need off of here. So this is our pantry here which you can see has got a label on it. And in our pantry we keep all our food stuff that we can have long term. So our cans, our flowers, all those sorts of things. And then at the other end of it is all the spare saucepans and frying pans and different pieces of equipment that we use in the kitchen so that we can access them easily. This table here is our, we call it our community table, but it's where we have our journalists working. So our journalists are the recorders and reporters of each session. So in that session, they'll take lots of different photos um, of both the food as it's harvested and then what we do to it in the kitchen and then a photo of what we produce at the end of it. So it's like our record of everything that happens to that food and for that session. In the kitchen when students are cooking, it's um, lots of different skills that they have to learn and one of the most important ones is obviously knife safety, so they work pretty hard in doing that. Um, each, in the kitchen we have knife rolls and each group has allocated knives and um, we have three different techniques that we use in the kitchen and each of them is taught and the students practice those in here. One of the things about working in small groups is that they have to cooperate to cook their food. 
So uh, there's a lot of teamwork, a lot of negotiating, talking to each other to make that happen. So this is a kitchen space here where students would work. So in our kitchen space, each group of students would have an oven and a stove top and a sink and some cupboards that have some equipment in it that they can use. So they would prepare their food on the kitchen bench here, working as a team. What are some of the more special things about the garden? This place is the, the shade house. It's like our, our nursery, our, uh, the place where we grow our baby plants and seeds. So students have propagated these plants. They've grown them either from seed or from cutting. Um, and grown a lot more seeds as well. And this is where the, the baby plants are, are looked after. It's like a little childcare centre, I guess. So it's where they feel nice and safe and, and warm and they, they get the, the regular watering and protection from the hot sun or the cold winter. Um, so it's a, yeah, it's a space where a lot of the, the new plants start, I guess. Um, also in this area is um, our kind of storage space behind me here where we store a lot of the, the garden needs a lot of things. So we store a lot, a lot of the, the bricks and sticks and, and stuff like that. I do have a plan eventually to um, hopefully uh, get a bit of a project with some students to build a, a hot house, uh, maybe next to the shade house here or in, in place of it. So something that actually collects the, the warmth in winter and keeps it so our plants can, can stay warm over the winter time a little, little bit better. So that's our next big project for this space here. Outside of the kitchen garden program, the space is used by uh, studios whenever they, whenever they want. They can come in and use the space for their own science or investigation or inquiry. Um, and it's even used outside of school hours sometimes for meetings from community groups or uh, uh, different people that want to come in and see how the space runs and, and works and come for uh, tours and, and things like that. We've recently had a, a film crew come in just like yourselves and do some other things um, as well which is pretty interesting. So that's the basis of how the space is used. It's open at recess and lunch as well and there's always students in here at recess and lunch um, investigating, um, looking, at the, looking at the pond or uh, looking at the chickens, trying to feed the chickens. Sometimes trying to feed them a little bit too much, but that's too much. Too much love is not a bad thing most of the time. Um, yeah, that's, that's how the space is mostly used. Yeah. From my perspective, I think one of the most important things that, that's come out of this is the children have learned teamwork. They've learned to work as a group that harvests. Then they present uh, the harvested food into the kitchen so their partnership groups can then cook a meal for the day. And that, I think works very well because then they move in to help each other. Then at the end of it all they sit down and eat together as a team and as a community. And they probably have learnt to eat things that they've never had before at home and they've also learnt that food doesn't just come from a supermarket. It gets grown here by them and gets created by them. I think that it's quite successful. I mean, I have been here, I'd say, just uh, about a year, and I've watched a lot of the kids develop their skills and their knowledge, and it's been great. It's really successful. Some of them go home and try different things, so yeah, it's great. And they're setting the tables as well as learning different things in the kitchen, like where things go, um, what the different things are for. Like what a pot. Some of them didn't even know what some saucepans were, so it's taught them a lot of things. And out in the garden it's taught them different vegetables, different fruit. No, it's great. I think kitchen and garden is good fun because in the garden you get to harvest for the ingredients and in the kitchen you get to cook some really delicious food. We really like the kitchen garden because we because we make really good food. And one time we made a taco dish and it was really good. That's the kitchen garden because we learn a lot in the kitchen and the garden. For example, once in the garden, we learned the families of fruits and vegetables. I like the kitchen garden because you can be active. For example, you can move around, like explore and like find different things. Hope you enjoyed our film and come visit us here at Bambi 7 in the Kitchen Garden sometime.